Only the truth is funny. Can you come up with a more pretentious title? Jeez. No, no, no. It's a perfect title because Rick Reynolds is the only comedian who tells the truth. You didn't hear? See, we're all liars. In fact, Rick has a copyright on the truth. If we even say anything that's true, we owe him a residual. It's not just us, though. It's comedians throughout time. Jack Benny was not really cheap, wasn't telling the truth, therefore not, not funny. funny. Kelly Chaplin, was he actually a tramp? No. I don't think so. Not funny. Not funny. Hey, let's just be thankful we didn't call it Only Rick Reynolds is Funny. Right? He wanted to. His managers didn't think anyone would know who Rick Reynolds is. <laughs> they weren't even sure. <laughs> he's usually here by now, isn't he? Yeah, he said he's going to be late. He got caught at the theater. Ah, oh, yes. No more clubs for Mr. Theater. Well, God forbid he work a club. He's not a comedian anymore. He's an actor. Whatever you do, don't confuse the theater actor with the comedian. I should start calling him a performance artist. Yeah, performance art, the last refuge of the unfunny comic. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say the difference between his one-man show and his act is? Oh, it's simple. His one-man show is twice as long and half as funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, plus, you have the added attraction of all that smarmy material about his wife and his kids and his dysfunctional childhood. Yeah, boo-hoo, I'm crying already. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wanted to do a one-man show, but they wouldn't even let me. Right. Because, first of all, I had a good childhood. Second of all... I'm funny. No, 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 that's a problem. That is going to hold you back. We should go see the show. Why don't we go tomorrow night? No, you can't go. You can't get in. It's sold out every single oh, night. Oh, stop. Get I'm out. serious. So what? Michael Bolton sells out every night, too. What are you saying? Well, we'll just stay home and watch it on Showtime. Yeah, it won't cost us 25 bucks. That's right. We need the theater. Hey, is that David Steinberg? Correct. Continue. Oh, man, I love that guy. I used yeah, to watch right. him all the time when I was starting out. Yeah, you want to know how the mighty have fallen? You know what he's doing now? He directed Rick Reynolds' special. Are you kidding me? I can't believe it. God, he was so great. Remember, he used to be on The Tonight Show all the I time, know. and he did all, did all that edgy material on the Smothers Brothers. I, God, I can't believe he's directing cable specials. Paul, oh. he directed my cable special. Yeah, well, you know, let me finish. I, I can't believe he's directing cable specials, and, and to see that caliber work, you have to get cable. Nice try. David. Hey, buddy. Hey. hey. Hi, guys. How are you? How you doing? How you doing? Good. Jeff? Hey, good luck on the uh, Rick Reynolds thing. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Paul. I'm a big fan of your directing work. Thank you. Yeah, I loved uh, uh, Going Berserk. Thanks, thanks. Matters to me. Enjoy your dinner. Hey, did you guys see where the Times called Rick Reynolds America's next great comedian? He probably said, Rick Reynolds is America's next great comedian, and he whited out the question mark. <laughs> Mr. Truth would not do that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here comes Mr. Truth right now. Rick slam you to Hey, Rick. Hey, sorry, hey, I'm late, Rick, guys. buddy. Pull Hi, up a chair. Doing, How'd it go hey, tonight? Hey, hey, great. Hey, Standing hey, ovation. Hey, sold out again. Couldn't be better. Wow, that's great. That yeah, is great. great. Oh, I'm thanks. telling you, Rick, we could not be more proud of you. Hey, who's more deserving than you? Hey, you know, Rick, thanks. when one of us does well, it's like we all succeed. That's true. I exactly. just think it's nice when nice happens tonight. Right. Yeah. So what's up? The weirdest thing just happened. I just had this interview backstage. The first thing this woman asked me is, why don't you want to be referred to as a stand-up comic anymore? Like, I ever said that. I am proud of being a stand-up comedian. I really am. You know, what I said was that the stand-up form is limiting. I don't want to go out on stage and have to get a laugh every 10 seconds. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I want to tell the truth. And really, what's wrong with trying to put some substance between the jokes? Mm -hmm. We were just saying, actually, before you came up, that you've basically reshaped the whole art form. Yeah, we were talking about how many comedians you've influenced. Sure. You know. Right here. Right there. Me Thanks. too. You guys have always been there for me. I really that. appreciate that. Yeah. Well, like Diana Ross said, that's what friends are for. That was Dionne Warwick. I had her. You know what I can't understand is all the negative bullshit. I mean, why is everybody on me for trying to do something different? I saw Dennis Miller the other day. He's a friend of mine. I walk up to him. You know what he says? Here comes Mr. Truth. He didn't say that. Yes. Wow. He's a jealous, bitter man. Yeah, you know, the important thing to remember, Rick, is that we're here for you. Right. That means a lot. It really does. Yeah. So I got to go talk to Dave. I'll be back in a sec. See you, buddy. All right. Thanks, man. So now I feel bad. Hey, David. Good hey, to see Rick, you. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Oh, good. Good to see you. I just uh, said hello to your friends over there. Friends? No, 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 no. Those aren't my friends. Those are comedians, stand-up comedians, no talent hacks. Oh, yeah, in a way, but uh, I, was, I just say hello to them. Yeah, never mind them. What are you ordering? I don't know. I, I was just trying to decide. Uh, I, I think an Ava Gabor might be interesting, you know? No, Brian and Tartikoff, they still they have You know what I like? Menu. I like the uh, Danny Thomas or the Jack Klugman. Both Jack Klugman, yeah, that would be good. They have a... Uh... Rick Reynolds. 
only the truth is funny. This month, only on Showtime. I was thinking of maybe ordering a uh, Jerry Weintraub. You know, I'm such a fan of the Chabad telephone. How about the Sydney Poitier? The Sydney Poitier would be good, too. That's P-W. Poitier. Yeah, people don't know how to pronounce it. French. Well, he isn't, really. You know, I was thinking of a Gary Gitnick. You know, Very good. Yeah, that, that could be good, little too. little kid fills a fish on the yeah, side. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but I think I'm willing to try it. You're not Jewish, are you? No, but I have all the humor of the Jewish people. Yeah, well, not really. Not really. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, you do have a, you have a good sense of humor, but that, you know that thing that takes people over the top? Uh-huh.